static. The Brotter's back only works tonight. On All Hallows' Eve, when the sun comes up, we have dust. The dust? The pudding! <laughs> Fortunately, the potion I brewed the night we were hanged would keep us alive and young forever. <sighs> Unfortunately, the recipe for that potion is in my spellbook, and the little wretches have stolen it. Therefore, it stands to reason, does it not, sisters dear, that we must find the book, brew the potion, and suck the lives out of the children of Salem before sunrise? Otherwise, it's curtains. We evaporate. We cease to exist. Dost thou come? Well, you explained it beautifully, Winnie. The way you said it started out with the adventure part, and then you sort of slowly. Explain went what? Come! We fly! Because of me, my little sister's life was stolen. For years, I waited for my life to end so I could be reunited with my family. But Winifred's curse of immortality kept me alive. Then one day, I figured out what to do with my eternal life. Now, I'd failed Emily. But I wouldn't fail again. When Winifred and her sisters returned, I'd be there to stop them. So for three centuries, I guarded the house on All Hallows' Night when I knew some airhead virgin might light that candle. Nice going, airhead. Hey, look, I'm sorry, OK? We're talking about three ancient hags versus the 20th century. How bad can it be? Bad. Stay out of there! Why? holds Winifred's most dangerous spells. She must not get it. Let's torch the sucker. It's protected by magic. <laughs> <laughs> Friends, just as thou failed to save thy sister. Grab the book. They can't touch us here, right? Well, they can't. 